Welcome to Showcase Richmond, I'm Matt DiNardo. Through no fault of their own, over 900 children in Virginia live without families and permanent homes. You, or someone you know, could very well be the parent who could turn a child's life around and turn his or her loneliness into belonging, hope, and love. And now, there's a way to know if you match a child in waiting through a program offered through Connecting Hearts. And this message on adoption is the focus of today's Good News segment, made possible by Connecting Hearts in Virginia, a Deborah J. Johnston charity. And with us now is Debbie Johnston, Virginia's adoption champion and founder of Connecting Hearts in Virginia. Welcome to Showcase Richmond, Debbie. Good morning, Matt, and I love your purple tie. Uh, the fall colors fit very <laughs> well for you, so thank you. Hey, so much going on with Connecting Hearts and your adoption effort. Just bring us up to speed. You've had a recent success story with our own Christina Ferrick. We want to thank Christina Ferrick because she um, did an interview with Barry Farmer, mm -hmm. who is a single father that Matt, you and I actually yep. interviewed. Um, and she did a story on him. He adopted three boys right. and it is gone viral. It has 60,000 likes. That's awesome. Thank you so much, Christina and Channel 8. That's just fantastic. So a lot going on with Connecting Hearts right now. You're working very hard to get over 900 children adopted, find that match, to get them into permanent loving homes. Tell us what's happening right now with Connecting Hearts. We have so much going on as we approach November, which is National um, Adoption Month. And we're going to have a summit for everyone across the state. The governor will be there. It's going to be fantastic. But recently, we partnered with um, Adoption Share. Mm -hmm. And Virginia is going to be the first state that does mat like a match.com right. with prospective parents and prospective children. And we are so excited about it. This is something you've been working behind the scenes for quite some time because it's an easier way for parents sitting at home to see if they can match a child, like you said, like a match.com. Yes. But for adoption. Yes. And Erica Facetti, our director of Connecting Hearts, has worked diligently with Thea to make this possible. But this is so exciting because Virginia will be the first state. Now you usually focus, showcase a, a child here. We've had so many wonderful children. Yes. Some have been adopted, some still need to be adopted. Yes. What can you tell us about those kids who are waiting to be adopted? You work with them day in and day out. They want a home. They want a parents, they want a family. You know, they want love, they want permanency. That's what they want. What is coming up with Connecting Hearts in the foreseeable future, the next few months even? We have National Adoption Month and um, there's a movie coming out, Storks, mm -hmm. and we actually partnered with Warner Brothers. Right. It comes out on the 23rd. It's not supposed to be about adoption, but it is, it is. and it's so cute, and it's gonna make you cry, and just shows you what adoption can do, what it means to a family. How could the community quickly get involved to help you all out? Be a foster parent, offer a permanent loving home, donate goods for our foster kids, open your heart. Make that call now. Open your heart, as Debbie says. 804-308-5946, connectinghartsva.org. Thanks for joining us, Debbie. Thanks.